Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There is a ton to talk about today with things that are going on with code being added to FIFA, which is actually looking like it's related to FIFA 22. So I'll talk about that. There's a lot of talk about icons and a ton of them being added to the code. A bunch of the new icons that we're probably going to see next year in FIFA 22 were added to the code late tonight. I want to talk about that, what that means, how it probably won't affect this year um, in this game. But look at some of those big names because that's going to be crazy for icons next year if we have so many of those coming out. And also something called like Foot Heroes. I'll talk about that as well. Some of the stuff is actually searchable on the web app. We'll take a look at that and also take a look at the content that came out yesterday and how it moved the market. We have more Weekend League Plus objectives and they are again tied to some nation specific requirements. This time they picked Spanish. So of course, a lot of the Spanish cards went up on the market, but I think there's less hype around this one than there was with the France objective. And I'll talk about why that is the case. But first things first, let's talk about what has been going around the Twitter sphere late tonight. And that has been a lot of EA code that has been updated. Now there have been some rumblings in the past week about some of this stuff, but it really, really hit home and it really is looking legit tonight. You can see here Footwatch tweeting out that EA updated the code to add some new icons. Cafu, Iker Casillas, Wayne Rooney, Robin Van Persie, and Di Stefano have all been added to the code. Each one has three versions available. And you can see is if you search the web app, it's really blown up picture here. But if you search the web app, I believe it's only web app. You can see some of these cards. Now it's not all right. Obviously Van Persie is not a 49 and a 50 rated card, but then you search up guys like Mario Gomez. You've got a couple of his cards showing up there. You've got some of the ratings as well. Cafu being an 88, 90 to 93. You know, specifically that makes us think his base version is 88 rated. His middle is a 90 and his prime is a 93. There's tons of these cards that you can actually look up on the web app and see their ratings, right? Di Natale, 88 rated, as you see here, uh, as, a, as an item. And you look at like Tim Cahill, right? Abedi Pele, there's a huge, huge list of names. The names literally just keep coming. You can see Footwatch tweeted and said, I spent some time going through tonight's code. Here are some more players that were added. Phil Jackielka, um, Stuart Downing, Aruna Kone, uh, just, just some names that some of these have, I've never heard of, uh, but just some crazy names. Uh, other ones that are searchable in the game, Robbie Keane, come on you Spurs, right? I think a lot of people are stoked for Tim Cahill, a lot of the Aussies, right? Very, very excited for that one. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, 86 rated card, Clint, Dem Clint Dempsey, Mario Gomez, right? Ginola Cordoba, um, just some Lejungberg returns as well. He used to be an, a legend in like FIFA 16 and before, right? Diego Melito. So there's just tons and tons and tons of names of these cards that are that are now in the game, right? That are just now showing up on the web app, showing up searchable on the market with ratings. And again, it's just, we're not sure if these are all icons or heroes, right? Again, there's these new things in FIFA 22. It seems it's, they're gonna be called like heroes that maybe are seeming like lower rated icons. We do not know, right? We're probably gonna be getting some more information later on this week about some of these cards. But when I loaded into FIFA, I didn't have a squad update, so I believe that I would not be able to search like Di Natale uh, as he would be right now. Di Natale, no, he doesn't show up. Or like Van Persie, right? I can't search Van Persie. It's only on the web app. It's actually kind of weird, right? So that's, that is, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that tonight because that is something that is happening right now in this game with all of these icons being added. Of course, big names though, right? I think this is the tweet that really set some people off. Cafu, Iker Casillas, Wayne Rooney, Robin Van Persie, and Di Stefano, three versions, new icons for FIFA 22, right? And this is something that we have seen before. They added icons like Maradona, Thierry Henry, Zidane. I think it was, uh, it was like FIFA 19 or FIFA 20, I believe, heading into that year, like a couple months before, kind of like how it is right now. 
those icons were added to the game. You could actually like see them on the transfer market. Obviously, they weren't in the game, but they were added to the code and stuff like that. So that is where a lot of hype is kind of being talked about right now. We'll probably get some more information as FIFA 22 info, I believe, is coming out in like four or five days. I think the 11th of July is a date where we're going to get some information for FIFA 22. I know we haven't talked a lot about FIFA 22 yet here on the channel, but that's just because there's still a decent amount going on with FIFA 21. But it really picked up tonight. And again, I wanted to talk about those cards, whether they're heroes, whether they are icons. Cons. You would think that guys like Cafu, Casillas, Rooney, Robin Van Persie, and Di Stefano would be icons legit, especially since Footwatch said that each one has three different items. But all those other names, uh, you know, like Dempsey, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, like those might not be icons. Those might be some of those heroes that EA has been kind of you know, teasing at is something new coming for FIFA 22. So that is something that is cool that we'll find a lot about in the near future, I'm sure, which is why we'll talk about it more then and not, you know, extensively right now since we just don't know too much about it. But I wanted to cover it a little bit just so you guys understand what is going on. That is what I understand from those tweets and from that code that has been added. Now, Let's talk about FIFA 21. Let's roll it back and talk about the game that we still have at the moment. Yesterday on Tuesday, we had some decent content, right? It was a decent day of content. Denmark Nation players were released. I think some people were hoping for a Hoybjerg, myself included, but we did get ourselves a Larsen Braithwaite with bad work rates and a Delaney, right? The Delaney card looks really good. These are cool, right? I love these triple player sets. Big fan of this. I did the US Nation players one, just finished it yesterday. Um, and I think that this is a W. If you're a Denmark fan, uh, you're you're very, very happy with that one. Now, we also had an 85-plus player pick, which is expected. And we had Weekend League plus objectives. And this is what actually moved the market the most, as you would expect. Just like we saw when the France objectives came out, we have a lot of Spanish cards rising up on this market. And I want to take a look at a couple cards that we looked at on stream just a little bit and some very interesting price movements with you know some of these live cards as well from the spain italy game yesterday of course going to pens that was electric that was an absolutely electric end of the game there uh but this marcus rente cards 1.15 million coins he was like 1.2 during the day of course during the game and after the game he dropped but he's rebounded back up very quickly and hasn't dropped that much because of course those uh, Spanish requirements for this upcoming weekend league. Same thing with Ansu Fati, right? Ansu Fati was 600,000 coins before the requirements dropped uh, yesterday on Tuesday. You can see 615,000 coins. He spiked all the way up to 900k plus and then went back down to 720 and is now back up in the 850,000 coin range. And that was the movement you saw with a lot of cards yesterday. So if you have any Spanish cards in your club, honestly, check them out because it's just going to be like it was for the French Weekend League. You saw a huge spike today. You saw the prices come back down, and now they've kind of gone back up a bit. Um, but I don't think, percentage point-wise, I think you're going to see that these Spanish cards won't rise as high just because, to me, it feels like we were talking about it in the Twitch stream today. There's not as many people that are maybe interested in doing this set of weekend league objectives just because they don't have a lot of Spanish cards in their club that are meta and that are worth it. Unless EA were to drop some Spain nation players, which I don't think they've dropped the Spain nation players yet as an SPC or a objective i believe i could be wrong on that one but i don't think i've seen basically that blue card design like we saw for the denmark players yesterday i don't think we've seen one of those for spain yet so that's kind of interesting to me they could drop a couple more players of course um in these the blue card type here like the larson which are the nation the nation players um but i just i don't know man i, I started kind of working on a squad i've got a decent amount of of spanish special cards that i could put together for a team myself uh with Pozuelo, with iniesta with regulon jordi alba marcus urente untradeable of course if i get ramos and i get one more player maybe like just go and buy butra guano or, or buy raul or fernando torres to use it striker for the weekend you know i would be able to fill a pretty solid team of spanish players but I think there's going to be a decent amount of people that do that weekend league objective. Of course, you've seen the prices go up, but basically what's going to happen is the exact same thing that happened with the French cards. And I just don't think the prices are going to rise as much because I just don't think that there's, you know, enough hype. Um, there's a decent amount of hype, but definitely not as much hype as there were for the France nationality. Because again, I really think it boils down to how easy it is for people and how much people feel like they're going to be like left behind from the meta 
if there's not a ton of cards that they own to to get those player picks right you know it might be really really hard for some people to get player picks uh the extra weekly link plus player pick wins without you know using looks like some people are just going to use gold cards right and that i think is going to deter some people from wanting to not use gold cards at this stage of the game when they've worked so hard all year long to get a squad where they have it now and uh, I think that's why some people aren't a fan of these weekend league plus objectives as well. I mean, I think it's really cool because especially if you have a lot of cards in your club, it just gives you the opportunity to use some of those and a little bit more of an incentive to use some of those cards that you maybe wouldn't use because they're maybe a little bit second rate to some of your other most meta cards. But it just gives you something different to play for and some extra rewards to go with it. So I think for that reason, I still am a fan of these weekend league plus objectives because, again, you don't have to play with Spanish players in your squad if you don't. You could just play normal. Um, but yeah, I, so I am a big fan of this. Again, a lot of the Spanish cards have gone up crazy high in price. Some golds have gone up in forums. Basically, everything that is OP, everything that is meta inside of that Spanish nationality has gone up a lot. It could go up a little bit more heading into this weekend. Um, but again, like you saw with the French cards, you're going to see a massive, massive, massive sell-off on a lot of these items. So some of the some of the Spanish cards that you've seen go up so much, like we just looked at Jordi Alba, that's another great option. That'd be a card that I would 100% keep an eye on heading out of this weekend league as well as you see probably a lot of sell-off on a card like this. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind as we head out of the weekend as well. These cards are probably gonna peak, in my opinion, Friday morning before the new promo comes out. That'll be the peak for a lot of the Spanish cards on this market and on this game that are going up because of that extra objective. So that's just my thoughts right there of what is going on. Of course, we have more upgrades locked and loaded coming for PTG cards. Acuna and Paredes are getting more upgrades coming and the Italians with their win and now going to the finals of the Euros. Verratti has gone extinct. Florenzi uh, is obviously an SBC, but those cards are now going to be five star, five star, and their upgrades. Whenever EA decides to upgrade things again, they're done, right? Their, their upgrades are literally done. These cards have reached their peak, which is one thing for me, it's kind of, kind of interesting because this Verratti card, of course, is yes, he's gonna go to a 98 and he's gonna be five star, five star, um, but even, even though there's still one game left, they have achieved, achieved the pinnacle of upgrades for path to glory cards. So I find that kind of interesting. I do think a lot of these PTGs are going to fall off in price. Once that price range gets updated for Verratti, I do think that you might see it go down, um, because just people are going to start listing. Of course, after the upgrade comes, there might be a small, you know, really exciting time frame where people buy it up after the upgrade, or especially if Italy keep playing well, they go on to win the whole thing. Yeah, there's some hype there, but just kind of keep that in mind. These PTG cards, once they reach the peak, just, you know, you're going to see them fall off in price. Even if they win the whole thing, once they're done with the upgrades, you're going to see them fall off in price a decent amount. So that was one thing, uh, you know, we saw some drop offs in price with the Urente, with the Murata, but with those Spanish weekend league requirements kind of pick those back up. So just kind of keep an eye on that stuff. I hope they upgrade them early. Now, again, last week when they upgraded these cards early, it happened tonight, Wednesday night late Thursday morning early is when they ended up the upgrading the PTG cards early. So we'll see if that happens again. I'm down for it. It would be honestly not too bad of a time for them to do it um, with the final on Sunday and with a lot of upgrades kind of hanging in the balance with like Acuna with a double upgrade, Paredes with a plus one. Firmino is going to a 99. Uh, sorry, Paredes with a plus two actually, but Farina is going to go to a 99. Militao is going to go up to a 96. Llorente even still has a plus two upgrade locked in because Spain won their uh, quarterfinal game, of course, to get to the semifinals. That upgrade's not been paid out yet. And again, since this also happened when we had the French weekend league requirements dropped into the game, you saw the rest of the market actually go down a bit because people were selling things to go and buy some of those cards that they needed for those extra requirements for that weekend league objective. So some of your summer stars items, Kevin De Bruyne um, was a card that dropped 100,000 coins yesterday. This Richarlison is 625K. He is down uh, from 700K for where he was. Cristiano Ronaldo was almost 5 million coins and is now back down into the 4.5 range, I believe. Yeah, 4.54. Messi's back down to 2 mil. Um, Modric is down a decent amount, but guess who is still chilling? And again, it helps because he had the extra demand coming in from those Spanish weekend league requirements. 
but this Laporte card is still chilling around 300k because again, people need those Spanish cards for the weekend league and there's extra demand for that item. Calvin Phillips dropped off a decent amount as well. That was a card that went down in price because of, again, that just extra demand and people were focusing on that Spain nationality and all of that stuff. Now, again, we also, with that content that came out yesterday, we had SBC Fodder go even higher, which is crazy to say and crazy to think about. But 84s were above 10K. They've dropped off a little bit now. Um, you know, Fodder's actually maybe taken a slight, slight dip downwards. And I think that is due to the fact that we actually had preview packs. Um, so Fodder was very high in the morning. Some some things, I think, maybe on the lower tier spiked a smidge. 84s, I think, might have went up a little bit today with that 84. Uh, yeah, right here. They spiked up with that 85 plus player pick, but now they've kind of gone down in price. And that was because we had a nice little set of preview packs. And I think we had a tradable daily SBC as well that just supplied the market a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but there were some promo packs in here again, 100K, 45K, and 25K packs that they re-upped, which yesterday they did not. So again, you might think, yeah, how is this going to impact fodder? Well, people that are going to go do their preview packs, they pack something sick. They're going to go sell all the content from that pack to try to make their money back and make a profit. And that's going to bring some supply to the market that normally would not be coming on a normal Tuesday or Wednesday on FIFA. So I think that is what maybe dropped down some of the fodder too. So obviously it's still up. It's not down at all, but that price movement did happen yesterday as well. Um, and they've, they're requiring team of the season cards for more SBCs because they required some tots cards for that 85 plus player pick that they dropped yesterday. Um, and the Denmark, maybe it was the Denmark nation players. It was not the Denmark nation players. There's another SBC that they dropped. I think, I think it was just the 85 plus and I'm almost on my way done with this 92 plus prime icon moments, but it seems like they are, uh, dropping in a few more requirements for actual team of the seasons, which is nice. If you're somebody who has been trying to grind the 85 to 90 tots upgrade, also a slight update from 80 plus player picks. I have now packed three of the Summer Stars cards. I got Dumfries yesterday and two Christiansons. So of course, nothing insane yet, but we're gonna keep rolling on. We're gonna keep going through. I'm still trying to craft a lot of SBCs. Uh, once I get this mo Moments icon done, I'm probably gonna go for Ramos, especially for this upcoming weekend league, to get the Denmark players done, and then whatever we have on from there, we will continue to craft. So that's just kind of the name of the game for me is spending a lot of coins and upgrade packs and just trying to craft, right? Just trying to craft this week. So. That is kind of what is going on in this game. Again, we talked about the icons. I think there's there's a lot of potential here, man. There really is a lot of potential. Uh, the only thing is icons, I think some people are just not a fan of how icons have just seen so watered down, right? You think about icons this year and how cheap some of these cards have gotten, right? Even some of these moments cards, like you take a look at like a moments cliver is one that comes to mind. This dude's like 140,000 coins. He used to be 1.5 mil, right? 1.1 million coins. Is this icons have really, really the lower tier ones that aren't meta? They just some become so, so cheap this year. It's actually crazy. So that's one thing I think, especially a lot of these icons that people just value as um, unusable. I really hope that we're not adding in a whole new list of players that are either heroes or icons that are just unusable and not playable in this game. It does bring a level of hype right away, first time for sure. Um, but you know, after that, as we get later on in the year, you just see a lot of the cards ending up as like super duper cheap items. So that's one thing that I'm, I guess, unsure about how it's going to happen with some of these. I don't know if they're going to take some icons away as well, along with adding these new ones, but we will see, hopefully we get some new information soon. And, um, I don't think any of this relates to FIFA 21 at all. I really don't because, uh, I don't think they would add an icon this late in the game. It really does not makes sense in my opinion for them to do that uh i think that they will be adding all those and all that stuff that they've been doing is all related to fifa 22 so hopefully we get some more information on fifa 22 pretty soon which i think we will on that july 11th date and of course heading into the summer after that but that's the video for today boys if you did enjoy it smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out